Hey guys, this is Tyrone Hood, proud owner of Hood Service Company, and this is my history in motion. Well, when I was growing up, we lived in an apartment and uh, we, we didn't have air conditioning and heating. So when they finally put in air conditioning and heating, I looked at the guy and I saw him put that unit in and I knew right then that I was be doing air conditioning and heating. So uh, I'm gonna go a little bit little, little personal. Uh, so I had nine months to think about what I wanted to do and how I want to implement Hood Service Company. I sat uh, night and day uh, thinking about this and I had plenty of time because I was on that, I was on an unwanted vacation, so to speak. And so I had nine months to think about uh, how I was going to execute my plan uh, once I came home. So what I did was uh, I just went through uh, the proper service call steps and how I was going to talk to the customers and what customer service base I was targeting and wanted to target. And I brought that, when I come home, I brought that attitude with me and I said, Lord, if you just let me come home, uh, I would do the right thing. So when I first started uh, Hood Service Company, uh, we started with uh, $300 uh, and that was enough to buy R22 refrigerator. R22 was skyrocketing at the time. I bought my first refrigerant drum and uh, we, I was running service calls. I was cleaning more coils. Uh, so basically all I had tied up was labor. And I turned that labor money and started buying parts, fan motors, capacitors, uh, another drum of uh, R22, and I stopped buying a, a drum of 4chan 8. Next thing you know, I'm changing out units. So we started out with $300 in a span of four years. We're uh, close to suppressing a million dollars. So with that amount of time in a small town, Corsica County, Texas, that is impressive. The next phase of this company here is just to keep building building build customer relationships, getting more customers, and just put on more maintenance contracts and have a little bit, just a little bit more stability for me, my family, and my guys that work for me. And I, I think that's our next step, and, and, and just go one step at a time from there. And uh, I think we're comfortable with that. So what motivates me is, uh, uh, from a man with many past, uh, good or bad, the Bible, the Bible verse, Jeremiah 29, 11. It says here, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, the thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you hope and the future. So what that tells me is um, with my past, it's given my past that there is hope and the future for me. And that's what motivates me every day.